Hi guys, Vertus Education here with episode 12 of the CryEngine 3 SDK Beginner Tutorial Series. And in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to further populate your scene using brushes. Now, the brushes tool essentially just allows us to place a bunch of individual meshes into the scene and then uh, play around with their settings and transform them individually. So you can see here in my scene that I've added a whole bunch of extra models and so on to populate a little bit more. Uh, so for example you can see I've got some buildings, I've got some uh, chairs, campfires, water towers and so on and so forth. Now each of these are their own individual little pieces that I've placed manually into the scene. Now unlike the vegetation tool, the brush tool is really great for placing individual brushes as are individual objects and most importantly is great for more structural pieces that you don't necessarily want loads of. So, let's just go ahead and uh, show you how to use the brushes tool to populate your scene. Now, keep in mind that uh, in this episode we're going to be using uh, pre-made assets rather than those we made ourselves. However, providing you was to make your own assets and bring them into the engine yourself, you would be able to use this method to bring them into your scene. So, to bring in some objects, just go over and go into the objects uh, tab in the roll-up bar and then just go to the brush panel. Now from here we get a little objects browser which allows us to select objects that we want to bring into our scene. So for the most part let's just go ahead and start off by bringing in a few little structural pieces. So I'm just going to go ahead and navigate to some kind of uh, building mesh. So in this case it's going to be architecture, buildings, and then I'm going to look for say Let's go ahead and bring in some forest cabins. Now, just keep in mind here, you can actually see a little preview down here whenever you select an object. When you found an object that you do want to bring in, just go ahead and click it, drag it, and it will come in just like that. And you can see here that it's been locked to my mouse and I can move it around freely. So to place it, just go ahead and click and then we'll just start to modify that a little bit more. So whenever you are placing brushes and objects into your scene, I do greatly advise that you uh, have it uh, checked to follow terrain and snap to objects uh, so it stays uh, in level with your uh, terrain height map and any objects that you may have inside of your scene. Now, once we place this, we can actually further modify it using the transformation tools. Having said that, if I want to, I can go ahead and move it. So, if I go ahead and press the select uh, tool, I can just go ahead and select this. I can move it left, right, up, down, and so forth. I can also rotate it if I want to. Uh, in this case, I'm going to rotate it on the Z axis. And I'm going to uh, rotate it into a place that is, you know, a little convenient. In addition to that, I can also uh, use the um, scale tool if I want to. So if I go ahead and select that, I can scale the object up, down, and so on and so forth. So just keep that in mind that once you place it, you can further modify it. And that applies to pretty much any object. So you can go and select on multiple, uh, you can go and select multiple meshes if you so please. So, uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to quickly move this back. And I'm going to show you how we can change this mesh if we want to. So rather than just go ahead and uh, going ahead and deleting this, if we, for example, want to change the mesh and keep the original position, we can just go ahead and scroll down here. And then we can just go ahead and replace it. So, for example, if I wanted to change this little house here for a worker barracks, all i got to do is just select another object in here, and it will keep the original position. So just keep that in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the forest cabin again. So let's just go ahead and create a few small objects to see how well that fares. Actually, before we do that, I just want to go ahead and tell you that you can play around with some different settings on a per asset basis. So for example, if we wanted to, we could play around with LOD ratio, view distance ratio, uh, we could turn on shadow maps and so on and so forth. Just keep that in mind, play around with those. There's not too much you really need to touch, but um, you know, those are there if uh, you may need to touch them uh, sometime. So let's just go ahead and place another brush in. So rather than just go ahead and selecting something from here, uh, we've got to go back to the brush panel. Just click the button and then we can uh, select a new asset again. So let's just go ahead and see if I can find something uh, that I might like. So let's just go ahead and, uh, whoops, nope, don't want that. So I'm just going to go back there. I'm going to go and find the 
Let's go ahead and get myself an electric building. So just go ahead and drag that in. I can place it here if you want to. I can go ahead and rotate it so the door's in the right position. Uh, whenever you are playing around with buildings and stuff, make sure that it is realistic in the sense that uh, doors and windows are easily accessible. A bit like this, and they have, you know, sort of appropriate uh, rotation to them. Oops, not too sure what's going on there. Uh, let's go ahead and place some more smaller objects as well. So once again, we just go back here, and we can just go ahead and navigate to a different uh, folder for, for example, if we wanted to bring in some props. So let's go ahead and bring in some little props. Let's go to fishing camp and see what we can find. I'm going to add in a bunch of tents here, uh, just so we can, uh, you know, give that sort of look and feel. Uh, where people are camping out here. Ideally, they should be a little bit dirtier, being on an island and so on, but you know, it's it's pretty much fine for now. So I'm just going to make sure I go over here. Let's just go ahead and bring in some different kind of assets. For example, uh, what what do we have in here? Maritime. Uh, let's bring in some wooden barrels, because wooden barrels are cool. You know, we can just bring in loads and loads of these and just place them around individually. So yeah, just play around with that, populate your scene a little bit more with these brushes. Thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.